Okay, here is the solution in order to solve the example 4.4. Okay, after we get this type of question, you need to understand what is the parameter or properties that has been given in the equations. Okay, so for 6 meter is the value of H. Okay, and then here is your comma value. Here is your phi value, friction angle, and the cohesion, the C value here. Uh, so, the question asks you to determine the ranking at the force per unit length of the wall before and after the tensile crack occurs. So, try to sketch first the system of retaining wall. We have 6 meter height of retaining wall. We have soil here. 6 meter and here is the soil. The P is equal to 26. The C equal to 14.36. Okay, and then there is the shape of the soil pressure minus 2. Okay, the equation here is sigma pi naught ka. And here is the active pressure, the tip of pressure. Okay, so you can simplify it after these two shapes. It can be 2C prime of Ka. Here is of our depth of crack. And then this one able to get by using this equation C prime K A after you consider the equation. Okay, so you can proceed to determine the K A first. So our K A is equal to tangent squared times to forty five minus V two. So, tangent square 45 minus 2, 13 equal to 0 0.39. After that, it will be used. Okay, 0 0.39 square root. So, you get 0 0.625. And then, the general equations in determining the sigma A active. HKA minus K2 point C square root of K. So that Z equal to zero. You can use these equations, but since our depth is equal to zero, H equal to zero, so you can cancel out this uh, parameter so you can get the sigma A is equal to negative 2C prime KA. Okay, so 2 times 2 our C is 14.36. And our KA is equal to 0 0.25. Already calculate here. Square root of KA. Okay, so our value is negative 17.95 kN per meter square. Okay, at that, at that, Z equal to 6 meter, 0 meter, 6 meter, you can calculate the sigma A equal to this equation, okay, gamma H, K A minus 2, 2, C prime, square root of K A. So, 17.4, our H is 6 and our KA is 0 0.39 minus 2, 2 times 2, 14.36 times 2, 0 0.625. So our value is 22.77 kN per meter square for sigma prime A at Z is equal to 6 meter. Further explanations uh, how this equation develop, you may refer to the Foundation Engineering Textbook on the page of uh, 600.
Okay, so there is page 600 uh, textbooks. Okay, you may recall how uh, this type of equation develop. As mentioned in the questions, uh, they ask you to determine the active force before and also after the tensile crack appear. Okay, so for the first, uh, the first one is we calculate to active force before tensile crack. Okay. You may use the equation of general equation. Okay, previously we have calculate or use Ka minus 2 to C which square root of Ka. So you will use 17.4 times 2 6 power of 2 times 2 0 0.39 minus 2 times 2 14.36 and times to 6 and times 2 square root of Ka is equal to 0 0.625 so you will get the answer of um, Pa is equal to uh, um, 14.46 kilonewton per meter ok so the next one is in order to calculate uh, the active force after the tensile crack, you need to determine uh, the Zc. Okay. So before that, uh, we just proceed to determine the line action of resultant force uh, for the original Pa. Okay. So Pa is fine. So one two two point one six six over three zero seven point seven six over two. Okay, remember we have a shape here and also like this one. Okay, so this one is over uh, one third over H and this one is half the of H. Okay. So, Z is equal to 2, 4, 4, 3, 2, 2, minus 3, 2, 2, point 1, minus 2, 14, point 4, 6. Okay, so, our value is 5.45. Yeah. Okay, so, there is a resultant line for PA. So, we proceed for active force after tensile crack appear. Okay, as I mentioned before, uh, before we proceed to the PA, you need to determine the Zc. Okay, the depth of crack will be occur by using this equation. Okay, PA so 2 times 2 14.36 our gamma is 17.4 and our scale of Ka is 0 0.625 ok so our value is 2.64 meter so we can proceed to determine the Pa is equal to half H minus Zc Okay, since remember, uh, okay, there is the Zc means that we want to remove this part. Okay, we only want to calculate this one. Okay, so times two gamma H Ka minus two C square root of Ka. So half our HC direct two six four times two seventeen point um seventeen point four okay and H our H is six times two K A is zero point three nine minus two two times C prime is fourteen point 
0.36 times to 0 0.625 okay so our answer is 38.25 kilonewton per meter okay the last is you need to determine the z prime or resultant line uh, for the active force after the tensile crack appear okay so we still use the same equations but remember in order to determine the h okay we still use uh, one third of the h but our h is also uh, affected after we have the crack appear here so the z bar is equal to h minus 2 z c okay since the crack is appear here so divide by 3 so 6 minus 2 2.64 divide by 3 so our z bar is equal to 1.12 meter that's all for the solution example 4.4